Hey, welcome back guys. So, Tina and I are at Icon Park. If you can see behind me. Oh yeah, see, there you go. We are at the wheel here at Icon Park. Now I've done this a couple of, well, a handful of times over the years. Someone has not done it. And we're gonna see how this goes. Either way, it'll be on film. <laughs> so. No, I think you'll do okay. There's I a hope seat it in there. Go bad. <laughs> I think it'll go it's good. It's really, really high. It's really high, but it's also really slow. You know, kind of like that crazy uncle everybody knows. Yeah. So it's all good. But anyway, we're gonna head over behind us to the wheel and go for a little ride and show you a beautiful aerial view of a lot of stuff Central Florida has to offer. So let's go, baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, we have our tickets. How's it going? Huh? Good, good, good for right now. Thank you, man. All right, so we're here, baby. Can't turn back now. Yeah, just two of us. No problem. You good? Huh? <laughs> it's kind of my speed. Yeah, it's, it's nice and slow. You'll be all right, baby. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's good. Just cleaning out the, the gondolas. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, we're inside, darling. No problem. No worries. I'm just turning this down, baby. All right, so honey, we're on here. Where'd you go? There you are. All right. We are on the wheel here at Icon Park. <laughs> this is as fast as it goes. This is my speed. Yes, it's a good speed. If you need to sit down, you may no sit down. And we're in here by ourselves. And if it stops every few minutes, it's because it, they sweep it like they just did this one. Gotcha. Or in case I have uh, a, someone in like a, a wheelchair come through. So yeah, we are on the wheel here at Icon Park. It used to be called the Orlando Eye, the Coca-Cola Eye. It's had quite a few names the last five, six years, but it is now the wheel at Icon Park. Gives you a beautiful view from 400 feet in the air of all of Central Florida. And I am excited to look that way in about five minutes to start seeing the new Epic Universe from Universal Orlando. Welcome to Florida, y'all. And we'll be looking out this way behind you too, hun, because there'll be great views of Disney. You'll probably see Epcot, some fancy hotels. <laughs> I can already see over there. Oh my goodness. Oh, you can see some of the coaster track out there in the distance. Epic Universe is very much coming for us next year, folks. Wow. That is crazy looking compared to what it looked like uh, a year ago when I was down here. That big main hotel, kind of right out there, was not rising above the ground yet. Oh my gosh. Hey, I can see our car. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well, we're not quite at the top yet, but Tina is enjoying her ride. Let me try to zoom in here. You guys can maybe see a little bit of, oh, I was zoomed. <laughs> Downtown Orlando over there in the distance. A little bit of, I know, right? A little bit of Universal Orlando over there, Volcano Bay. Beautiful. And there you have the Star Flyer, the most ridiculous thing ever. Yeah, it's a giant swing set, folks. Again, I don't know if there's a dollar amount on this planet that you would get my fat butt on there. Oh, you yeah. go. The dollar amount would have to be very, very large. <laughs> like, I'm talking like ungodly large, like a number you can't even fathom. How about a million dollars? Depends, is it taxed? No. Nope. I don't know. I don't know if a million would quite, I really don't think it would. I don't know if a million would, I don't know if I could do a million. Hey, I've gone there for a million dollars. Well, that's you. <laughs> I don't think I could do it for a million dollars. Look at this pretty lady up here. <laughs> a million dollars, yeah. I'd go up there for almost two minutes. Well, you'd probably have to take the whole five minute ride or whatever it is. Okay, I'll take the five minute ride. But okay. I'll also take uh, anxiety pills. <laughs> Oh, Can yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd have to have some serious... Uh, but a million dollars? That could that, all go away. The million dollars? Yeah, but not the dreams I would have <laughs> afterwards. Now, I am curious because there are people sitting on the swing down there right now. It's going to go up. I know. I'm just waiting for it. And we're stopped right now for a moment because they're probably cleaning or loading or unloading on some folks. People getting on the swing down there, they're on and ready. She should be going any time now. It sure, it sure is pretty though, lit up at night. Oh, it's gorgeous at night, but. That's when I would love to go to see all the lights. Yeah, well, I don't want to go any point in time and see it. <laughs> no, 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 no. back out over here. I am just in awe of this whole new Universal Orlando Park. Here it goes. Yep. How oh, is it going up? Let's go back over here. And watch what I like to call the world's worst invention ever. Yeah, there's no way. Way, way high. There's no way on this blue planet that. A no. Dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? I'm just, I'm gonna eat me some ramen for oh, a I'm long attached. time to come. And, mm -mm. Honestly, I don't know if I could do that. If it was a million dollars, honey, I really don't. I know it might make me the potty poopa, but I don't think I could. All right, we are now just starting our descent, or we will in a moment. We've stopped, we're at the very top. So one last look out there over at Epic Universe. And again, all I can say is wow, 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 wow. I cannot believe what has happened in that land in the last year. Unbelievable. Awesome helicopter right there going right past the swing. Here's a good shot for you looking down I drive, looking north down I drive.
You might not be able to see on your screens, but I can see Epcot. I can see the Tower of Terror. You can see a lot of stuff over Disney Way. Plus the whole south end of International Drive. The Convention Center, the Orange County Convention Center. I can see the Rosen Center. I can see SeaWorld right behind the Rosen Center. My goodness, this is just, it is an amazing, amazing chunk of land down here. All right, hon. So we're back down. We're coming in for landing. How was it? Oh. Not bad, was it? No. Nah, I told you, it, because it goes so slow, it's just, it's a smooth ride. Like you can walk around and like, it's not jerky. It's not fast. You, you don't lose your stomach on it. It's really. Yeah, well, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I yeah. thought, okay, it's some kind of car thing. Um, is it going to like, give me a huge belly drop? Yeah, when no. We go down, you know, cause it's, this thing is high. 400 this, feet. This thing is high. 400 feet at the and top. It only goes. <laughs> Three miles an hour, I don't know. It, it takes, it's been 20 minutes we've been on here from the yeah. time you walk on to the time we walk off in like 20 seconds. So, uh, if you don't mind heights, you can do it. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, I don't, you don't even feel the need to sit down, really. Like, you yeah. were up on your feet almost the whole time. Yeah. It's easy. So, if you guys are in Orlando, you want to check out the wheel, you can Google it. The wheel is at Icon Park here in Orlando, and it is a fantastic ride. And my apologies for nerding out over the uh, new Universal um, property, but wow, is that coming along. Oops, sorry. No problem. No. I know, right? We're now out of the wheel and we're looking through the gift shop quick on our way back. On our way out of here. Oops, excuse us. Oh, you're good. Good merchandise they have though. They got some really cool shirts. I like it on top of the wheel. <laughs> That's kind of funny right there. Just gonna take a real quick stroll through Icon Park here yet again. Uh, before we leave, head to a quick dinner. Uh-oh, hang on. The man, the myth, the legend, Gordon Ramsay. This fish and chip place that I've been to before is right here. You guys have probably seen that on another vlog. And something tells me before this trip to Orlando is done, Tina will have tried her first Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. Little choo-choo train. Beautiful evening right now though, hun. Clouds are starting to go behind, or the sun is starting to go behind the clouds. We got a couple hours till sunset yet, but. All right, so just gonna walk around here quick before we cut out to the back down that way. Got some sunglasses, some hats. You got a Build-A-Bear workshop, honey, if you wanna go build me a bear. And then right up here, you have Sloppy Joes, just like they have down in Key West. I've been to the original Sloppy Joe's and it is pretty awesome. I had lunch a couple years ago all by my lonesome honey right up there on one of them picnic tables over there at Shake Shack. And it was a fantastic lunch too, let me tell you. I think we're gonna go in this, go in this little icon part gift store before we take off. All right. So that gift shop was okay, but nothing I couldn't live without. They had a couple nice sweatshirts, but I'm not really in need of one at this moment. But then again, you can always use a nice sweatshirt, right? Look at these trees, huh? Aren't those pretty? Oh, wow. So anyway, we came, we saw, we conquered the wheel, baby. We did. Yes, we did. So I think you're gonna join us right now as we also go grab a bite to eat. Yeah. Now, if you look over that way through the palm trees, you're gonna see some roller coasters. Those would be the roller coasters of SeaWorld Orlando. So that means 
we must be at one of my favorite pizza places. That's right, folks. We are at Mellow Mushroom right here on International Drive. This is Tina's first time inside Mellow Mushroom. It's a great place. Love the, the fake piano here right when you get in. All right, we are in Mellow Mushroom, and here is the menu. Take a look at it real quick. A lot of music playing, so let's see what happens, huh? Anyway, here's a lot of the, your starters, your wings, some of your salads. All right, here's a look at like the hoagies and the burgers. Now if I flip it over, here's, here's the money makers right here. All these amazing pizzas. And you got calzones over here. And you also have, here's all your ingredients, all your toppings you can do. Oh yeah, it feels good to be back at the Mellow Mushroom. All right, so we're sat here at Mellow Mushroom and we just put in our order. After looking at the menu for a good number of minutes, we ordered some bruschetta, a magic mushroom soup, Magic mushroom, it's not what you think, guys. It is the most unbelievable mushroom soup I've ever had. And then we ordered one medium pizza. Half is the holy shiitake pie, and the other half is the cosmic something, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't cosmic something. The but... cosmic something, I don't remember the name. Um, but I can't wait to show you guys. I believe the cosmic one has like, uh, a really good red sauce. It's got goat cheese, goat cheese and spinach on it, um, and, and pes pesto. Pesto. It's got a pesto on it, so that's going to be good too. Okay, so the appetizers have come out. The bruschetta. Oh, that looks so good, baby. And the magic mushroom soup. Let's see how you like it. Take a bite, my love. Take a bite. <laughs> Pretty good? <laughs> that good, huh? There's a lot of flavors going on. Wait to try it. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I'm going to take a bite of my soup because I wait for this soup for long periods of time when I'm not down here. Oh. Tastes like when you go back home and you have a meal at your like folks' house after years of not being there. It tastes that good. What do you think? Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's different than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. It's, it's thick. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to dig into a piece of this bruschetta because this looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> the flavors in it. And the, I don't know if that's balsamic vinegar. It on is. The top. Oh my gosh. It's incredible. Mm. That's so good, you guys. Oh yeah, that bruschetta looks amazing and tastes amazing because I just had some, oh my goodness. Well, although Tina and I are still mowing down on our soup and bruschetta, our pizza come out, the cosmic and the shiitake pie. I cannot wait to tear into that in just a minute. All right, so sweet Tina Tina baby here is dishing out some pie. Oh my goodness. Which one are you gonna start with? Uh, small piece of... The mushroom? mushroom. Oh, very good. Unless you want me to Nope, you try whatever you want. All right, so we have our pizzas on our plate. And I'm curious, because we both took, thank you. Awesome, thank you much, man. Looks like our, our, our cherry ran out of syrup in the back. So oh, yeah, I'll reload that thing. No worries, no worries. So, we each have a piece of the holy shiitake pie. And we're gonna try it. Tell me how you like it.
That's pretty good. Not bad, is it? A little different. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Just Me too. It. Yeah, it's a really good pizza. This other one. Mm-hmm. Cosmic. Take it, baby. That looks phenomenal. Spinach, roasted tomatoes. That looks phenomenal. Let me tip the camera down and look at that piece of. Oh my gosh. So it's got spinach, roasted tomatoes. Um, goat yes, cheese. it does. Goat cheese, <laughs> or as they call it, cheese. Cheese. Yeah. That was really bad, I know. <laughs> I know that was horrible. Mm. But we're going to try it because mm -hmm. I like different things. Oh, I'm down to try that. And I love bruschetta. Mm -hmm. Like all the tomatoes and the vinegar and feta cheese. Yeah. Now this other pizza, that one you just put on your plate looks... Feta cheese too. Yeah, that looks phenomenal. Mmm. This is a damn fine pie, let me tell ya. Mmm. Mm hmm All right, so now I'm gonna put a piece on for me. Mm-hmm. Shall we try this together too, baby? Yeah. Oh boy. Here's the cosmic chaos. Let's. Mmm. Oh. That's pretty good. That's ridiculously good too. Wow. That pesto sauce, I think adds a lot. That does. That pesto, that richness of the cheese, the tomatoes are good, they're fresh. So oh, that's man. That's a lot of the green is, is the pesto. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's another one of those next level pies. Oh, thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Mm. Mm. Let me know. Oh, and we're full. We're full to a very large extent. Baby, what were your final thoughts on Mellow Mushroom here on International Drive across from SeaWorld Orlando? I was going to say I wish we had the I know, right? I really do. It's that good. Um, now, I've had the privilege to be here many times, and I have to have that shiitake mushroom soup. And tonight was the first time, though, being honest, that I've had their bruschetta. And that was like killer bruschetta like you didn't expect to get it in a little pizza little pizza building you know across from a theme park it was very high-end bruschetta yeah. um, again the soup was great and then the pizzas come out and wow as always the holy shiitake pie mwah, five out of five stars it was amazing yes our server Teddy correct I think his name Remember? was Teddy. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, so if you come to Mellow Mushroom, I drive across from SeaWorld. Ask for a guy named Teddy. You'll love him. Amazing Teddy, thank you. But that other Cosmic Chaos pie that we got, wow. Unbelievable. The pesto really made that pie. But that, that it could- It was salty. It had a nice salt taste to it. Nice salt taste to it. But uh, it was it was fantastic. And there we go, my good sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hey, no problem. No problem. Put this back in my wallet. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Either one. I'll just write cash. Right. Don't mind us, we're taking care of the business end of this transaction. This will all be edited out, don't worry. <laughs> um, but yes, ask for Teddy when you guys come here. Ask for Teddy, he was an amazing server and 
he's awesome. And tell him those two strangers from Michigan sent you, and he won't have a clue who you're talking about. Now, anyway, the pizza was phenomenal. Uh, that Cosmic Chaos pizza, that could easily be put on my might have to must have list when I come to Mellow Mushroom from here on out. It was that good. And I'm glad you enjoyed both the pies as well. I did. I'm always scared when I take Tina somewhere that I've been to before that I really like, especially down here in Orlando, taking people, taking Tina to places we don't have up north because I talk them up really big. I really talk, oh, it's a good game I talk about this place. I've talked about Mellow Mushroom for ages. I gotta get back and get my soup. The holy shiitake pie, the pizzas are amazing. And then I do feel good though when we come here and she's like, holy crap, this is really good, so. Yeah, I was impressed. Yeah. I like it. Well, cool. Well guys, thanks for watching today's vlog. We had a fun time on the wheel at Icon Park. And we just had an amazing meal here at Mellow Mushroom in Orlando, International Drive South. And again, you can't miss it because it's right across the street from SeaWorld Orlando. If you're driving down I Drive going south and there's big ass roller coasters on your right, look to your left, ta-da, Mellow Mushroom. So anyway, if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps me out and you never know what you'll see us doing eating or you never know where you'll see us going so until the next time thanks for watching the vlog guys and we will see you down the road until then keep living life peace